Okay, I'm creating this video for a couple of different reasons. One, to post it on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, number two, to see if anyone can assist with a irritable problem that I have out here with this thing. Uh, right now, it's working like a charm. Um, the wind gust was not 28 today. I had that inside doing a spin test on it. The pressure, I mean, the pressure, check it out with my uh, Aquatech Scientific. 30.12 one 30.12 I didn't just reset that or just set it it's been that way for 24 hours it is plus or minus one hundredth of an inch with this instrument which is a very expensive instrument anyway the problem with this is this there are error codes on this anyone out there that has one of these weather pictures for the Pete brothers I would deeply appreciate some feedback uh, it hasn't done it for a few hours now because I left, went to the store, and it's still running normally. But every now and then, for the temperature especially, you get a error code either in the high temperature or the current temperature of 4. Um, you can turn the unit off and then back on 15 seconds later, and it normally comes back to normal operation. Uh, it keeps the variables accurately. It's just... I'm not too fond of the idea of turning it on and off every time I want to look at the thing and get the accurate measurements, get the measurements the way they should be with the data that I want displayed. So if anybody can tell me what they think the problem could be and how I could remedy it, I would appreciate it. Here's what I have it hooked up to. This is the junction box. Uh, this is the temperature cable to the sensor outside. Here's the gray six wire telephone cable type cable that runs to the bottom of the weather picture. Here is the power cord and here is the black round cable that runs into the back of the weather station itself which is right here as you can see. So if anyone has any creative and um, good feedback I'd appreciate it as to what I can do as far as that issue is concerned <clears throat> I'm looking forward to getting the wind uh, anemometer and vane hooked up outside because I'm looking forward to see what type of refresh rate it has I understand it refreshes every half a second for wind speeds at 10 miles per hour or greater every one second for winds under one mile per hour and that puts it in line with the heath kit and if you need to ask me what my opinion is on the Heath kit, I would suggest you go back to my YouTube channel and find a Heath kit video and you'll have it. Um, I'm also going to include a couple of still photos so you, can, so you can see what the error code was that I received and what, this, what the picture looked like at the time. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.